Today, I'm going to be sharing one of the essential pre-steps you must take after purchasing a nib for your calligraphy practice. This step is called prepping the nib, and if you skip this step, you'll have quite a difficulty writing smooth and controlled calligraphy letters with those nibs. These simple steps can save quite a bit of time and hassle as you aim to improve your calligraphy skills because using properly prepared tools is crucial in any learning journey. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Liz and I'm a graphic designer turned calligrapher. I create contents and courses to help people learn calligraphy more effectively and more enjoyably. So recently, one of my posts on Instagram went viral and it was about prepping a brand new nib using a potato. Since I posted, it has gotten about 150k views. Reading through the comments, I was fascinated by how many people didn't know about this essential pre-step of prepping a nib. And I also noticed how there's a quite a debate among calligraphers about which one is the best method. So I decided to make a longer video explaining these methods, showing you how to do them, and also discussing why they are necessary in the first place. Let's get started! First, let's talk about why we need to prep a nib. When you buy any nib, you don't see it, but there is a protective coating applied on the surface of the nibs. This coating is there to protect the nibs from rusting. But if you leave it there, the applied coating material hinders ink from flowing smoothly when writing. This could easily lead to frustration, leaving you wondering if the nib is faulty or why your calligraphy skill is not improving. Thus, we have to gently remove this protective coating from the nib surface. There are several methods to prep any brand new nib. You could use number one, Windex cleaning alcohol solution, for example, like Windex, and number two, potato, number three, fire, number four, saliva, number five, toothpaste, for removing the coating on the surface of the nibs. Each method has its own pros and cons. Personally, I prefer using either the Windex or the potato method, and I'll explain why in a minute. The Windex method is one of the easiest and quickest methods if you have it ready at your house. With the Windex method, simply swirl the nib around and clean it with the paper towel. Pros to the Windex method is that it's super easy. For the cons, you may need to repeat the process several times until the nib is properly prepped. The potato method is my go-to method. For the potato method, gently insert the nib, always flipped, curved side should go up into the potato at a low angle, never straight in. If you put the nib straight into the potato, it may damage or misalign the tines, which may result not usable. In the worst case scenario, you'll have to fix it or purchase a brand new one. And that's something that we want to avoid. Leave the nib in the potato for about one to two minutes, then voila, you can gently take it out at the same angle you inserted it and then wipe the starch off the nib with a paper towel. The reason I like using the potato method the most is that you don't have to do it multiple times. In this sense, it is reliable because you only have to do it once. Once it's out of the potato, it's ready to go for my practice. While other methods might require multiple application for the prepping until they're ready to use. Another advantage of using this method is that you can prep many nibs at the same time. However, I don't recommend prepping the nibs that you're not going to use right away. So this is helpful when you do your workshop with many people. You can save time by doing multiple nibs simultaneously. The downside of the potato method is that some nibs are sturdy while others are very delicate and fragile. So the potato method may potentially cause damage to your nib. It's important to determine how fragile the particular nib that you're going to prep. If in doubt, then you can use other methods that's listed. For this reason, some calligraphers insist on using only the saliva method. But the nibs that I usually use had no problem using the potato method. As you may know, there are tons of nib choices out there. So I can only speak to the ones that I have tried and had no problem with. These nibs are good with the potato method. Nico G, Zebra G, Blue Pumpkins, Gillette 404, Leonard Principal EF, Hunt 101, 
Hunt 512-513, and Bras 66EF, and Bras Rose. One more thing I want to mention is that recently, someone told me that she cut the potato in half when using the potato method and insert the nib into the unskinned part because the potato skin can be a factor in damaging the nib. I thought it was a brilliant idea and since then, I have been implementing it into my practice. Saliva method. As you can tell, this method is the quickest and easiest since saliva is always ready to be used. But for hygiene reasons, I don't usually use this method, and yet it seems like this is also the way to go for your most delicate nibs. Simply soak some of your saliva onto a paper towel, and then rub off the protective coating off of your nib. That's it. It's almost too easy, right? If you think about it, it is fascinating how our body produces these liquids that can do this chemical magic. There are also fire methods and toothpaste. However, the fire method can be somewhat dangerous and has a potential to damage nibs. As for the toothpaste method, I've never really tried it myself. If you have experience using the toothpaste method for prepping nibs, please leave a comment sharing why you prefer this method. We have covered the benefits of various prepping methods and how to execute them effectively. Now, let me show you how to determine if the nib has been properly prepped and is ready to use. So, how do you know if the nib has been properly prepped? To check, simply dip it into the ink. If the ink doesn't evenly adhere to the nib, it's not ready. However, if the nib has a nice, even coating of the ink all around, just like this, then you're all set. Yay! If the nib hasn't been fully prepped, don't worry. Simply repeat the prepping step you did once more. Here are two important tips in terms of using nibs. Number one, when you dip the nib into the ink, make sure to fully immerse it to the point where you fully cover the eye of the nib with ink. If not, the ink will not flow smoothly. Number two, always keep the nib clean and dry. When you're done writing, clean the nib right away. Otherwise, the ink will solidify and stick to the nib, causing it to deteriorate. After thoroughly cleaning the nibs, I personally usually store them in a magnetic nib holder. I hope this video helps you to find the best method for you. If you find the one that suits your particular style and situation, then stick with it. I would love to know what your personal favorite method is. Please leave a comment down below. I believe taking care of your tools is one of the joys you can experience when learning a new skill. If you have benefited from the content today or enjoyed watching it, please like and subscribe. It really helps me to create more videos like this. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.